thanks for, for being here. This is fantastic. I'm super honored and excited. Uh, I've been in the Atlanta startup scene since 2005, and I would have killed for something like what you guys are doing here. So I'm super excited. I think that the future of Atlanta business depends on people like you all uh, to get involved in the business community, get involved in the startup scene, and really get out and, and accomplish your dreams. And, and that's really what I'm all about. And I think that startups allow us to accomplish our dreams and do the things that we were born to do. And so I want to talk a little bit uh, about being a business lead and a storyteller. And Scott asked me to share some things that we're doing in sales law, so uh, I'm excited to do that. So my name is Kyle Porter. I'm the CEO and founder of SalesLoft, and we're a business applications company here in town. And basically, we make salespeople's jobs better. We make their lives easier by giving them software that gives them information on the companies and people they sell to. And I'm a sales guy. You can find this presentation already up on the web, uh, B2B sales slash B2B hype. You can download it. It's, uh, it's already there up on SlideShare. <coughs> So, uh, we also have a bunch of other slide shares, and being a storyteller, I thought I'd show a few of them. So we've got 16 slide shares up there that you can check out. They're real fun and easy to go through. All right, so I'm gonna talk very briefly about myself, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what I think Scott wanted me to share, which is the rhythm of how we tell stories and the rhythm of how I run my business. So I've been selling since I was a kid. That's a little picture of me with uh, a briefcase, and I think I've got used GI Joes inside that briefcase. And I went around and sold them to the kids in the neighborhood, and it was, uh, it was a, a fun time. Uh, but I've been selling and involved in commerce my whole entire life. So uh, this is a business I ran where I had 45 sports bars that all had video games and TVs inside these sports bars. And I would go and collect the cash and run a trailer in to fix these machines. A lot of lessons learned, but uh, you know, it's just an experience that you go through as you're building businesses. And then I progressed to selling millions of dollars of hardware and software. So I've kind of come from the scrappy startup land to uh, you know, big business and big sales opportunities. But today I am uh, uh, involved in a startup. And we are, uh, you know, just like it shows up here, we are invested heavily in the startup roles that you guys have in this. Who built this, by the way? Is it perfect built it here? Great job. It's fantastic. Round of applause, by the way. <laughs> This is, okay, so this is what I describe myself as to the team today. I looked at the chart and I said, I'm a little bit of all these things, but I think I'm really heavy on business lead and storyteller. I do a little bit of design work, but it's miserable, and I updated one line in GitHub one time, so that's what I want to say. This is the sales off team, and everything I'm going to talk to you all about is after raising money and after building a team. Those two things are extremely important. I'm not going to share stories on how to do that. I'm going to share stories on what to do once you've done that. And I know you all probably aren't at that stage, but just wanted to share those stories. I'm happy to talk about raising money, happy to talk about building teams. It's something I'm very passionate about. But we have a team, we have money, and now it's time for us to do something special. So these are the profiles of the people on board. And as the CEO, it's my job to make the clocks run on time. It's my job to make sure that these people are fulfilling all that they can, doing the best they can with the talents that they have, that they're excited, that they're energized, and that they're making things happen. And so I found that the one answer to this is to install rhythm and cadence into the business. And so you've got all these things you want to do, all these talents, all these people with all these skills, but how do you get them to perform over and over and over again? How do I perform over and over and over again? And so I want to share some of the rhythms in our business. So the first is the one-page strategic plan. There's two people in this room I know that know this, Craig Hyde in the back corner and Johnny Bird over here. Uh, so we both, all three of us have the same investor, and we do a one-page strategic plan, and this is vital for your business. This is basically the lifeblood of where you are as a company and where you want to be. So we establish, hey, what is a culture that we care about? Where, where are our goals? What do, we want to, what do we want to do this quarter? And then we work super hard to get there, and we track our progress all the time. And at any given time, you can ask someone in the company, hey, what's our culture? What's our core value? What's our monthly recurring revenue? And anyone in the company, because they're feeding over the head of this thing over and over and over again, they know the answers to this stuff. And so I urge you all to whatever you're doing, no matter what it is, it could be nonprofits, it could be business, it could be sports, it could be you know, academics, set goals, set plans, and continually look at those and see where you are in the process. So what we do is we send a weekly update. Every single Saturday morning, I send an email to the team and it says, Here's what we said we're going to do, here's what our goals are, and here's how we're tracking towards it. And we do things like say, how many people came to our website this week? 
How many people raised their hands that they wanted something? How many people bought something? What were times, you know, soft things, like what was the time when someone uh, showed the core values of our business? And we use an example of the weekend update. And so it's super cool when we send it not just to the team, but to our stakeholders. I send it to my wife. I send it to my dad sometimes so he sees what I'm doing and I can stay accountable to him. So I urge you all to think about when you're building goals and setting goals, communicate with those with the people that matter to you. So the next one is a monthly metrics dashboard. I'm not going to go into this much, but it's, hey, where are we every single month down to the number? And I'm not an organized guy, but by coming to this every month and just saying, okay, I've got to fill in all these and then send it out. And we're able to do it, and it helps the company to stay on, on cue. Going quick, this is Scrum. Does anyone know what Scrum is? Does anyone do, Will, do you do Scrums? So Scrum is where the team comes together for just 10 minutes every morning and says, here are the things I did yesterday, here are the things I'm doing today, and here are the roadblocks I'm faced with. And by incorporating this into the business, we're able to get more done and see where people have needs and see what people are doing to, to accomplish our goals. And then the, yeah, so this one's a development sprint. So product management, how do you get a complex product built? We break it into small chunks and then you rhythmatically go over all the things you want to get done. So every week on Tuesday, my team sits down in a room, we say, what are the things we built? We check them off the list. What do we want to build? Load it up, put everyone assigned to it, and now we know exactly what we want to get done for that week and move on. But the cool thing is, as a storyteller, we also do the same thing for marketing. So we've taken the best practices of product management, software development, and incorporated them into marketing. So me and the marketer sit down and we say, okay, what do we want to get accomplished? Let's load it up and then let's track it as it goes over to the done call. So this is the stuff that's not being done. This is stuff we want to do this week. Here's what we're working on now and here's what we've finished. And so by doing that, we can get a lot of stuff done and all stay on track with what we're getting done. So here's a few of the things we do in marketing to keep our sprint. So just like Hypopotamus, we put up a daily blog. We're doing slide shares, infographics, we're doing interviews, we're doing videos, we're doing tips and tricks. Anything to get our audience excited about what we're doing and to help them out with the areas that they're challenged with. We do a guest post once a, once a month for a company called Salesforce.com. It's the largest CRM business in the world, and it's a partner of ours, and so we get a big audience by being able to post on their site. Every single month, we knock this out. We do a newsletter every, every other week. So now we're saying, okay, well, what we do is we take the top articles around the web about sales, which is what our audience cares about. We put them in an email and send them out. We do a video every week. I get on the hook with, uh, with someone who's a leader in our industry, and we do a Google Plus video, interview them just 10 minutes, break it up into small videos, and pop it up on the website, share it with the world. So that's really the rhythm of, of, of marketing. There's a bunch of stuff we do around social. So we're always staying active in the community. We're always talking about the things we're doing. We're always connecting with people who are doing awesome stuff, sharing other people's ideas. With all this rhythm and all this process, uh, SalesLoft in about a year and a half, we've got 5,000 or more customers and 32 paid, 33 paid right before this started. So we guess you got an order in. Um, but that's what we've done with SalesLoft and that's what we've done by uh, incorporating rhythm into our marketing and storytelling and business leadership. That's it.